Hey, hey, hey. We are back on my 700C by 54 trial and error. So the Puzo, real quick. Um, I got it on there and I aired it up. And it's a lot better than any of the other ones. It's It's really close. I might be able to do some kind of like uh, grinding on the back here to pull this back a little bit. I don't want to take off too much, but just a little bit, and that might give me enough pull back a little further, and I might make it with that. So, so far so good. Uh, just as the trial and error. Uh, the front fork though, I did get it back on there, the original. And, yeah, it's pretty tight. I, I'm, I might have to look for a fork, um, but we'll see. Or, I might could take a razor blade and just cut off the edges here, just on the front. I think the back's going to work. Um, it's not, it turns, but it's not... It's it's just too tight right now. So, um, I got this other bike out that is just my cruiser bike. It's a single speed. Uh, this is actually a modified-ish custom Huffy Cranbrook. It's brand new. It's really clean. There's no, really no scratches anything on it. Uh, I just put some upright bars on it. Painted them put the rim on there I got some brand new fenders from 27 inch this was a 26 inch with big fat beach cruiser right walls I needed to change this tire off the back anyway so just got it out I was thinking of going ahead and taking it off of there and then maybe trying to see how how this it'll work if I put it, if I make this into a single speed, it will work. So, but I, I love gears. Like, that's why I was hoping I was going to be able to have gears. And then I put that, um, I got a really nice three by from a vintage bike. Um, that I'd like to use on here. Um, that might make me want to ride it more. Um. This one I've just ridden a few times. A uh, story on it was somebody put it out for the trash. Um, and it needed a little bit of cleaning up and stuff, but it was it was a brand new bike. I don't. I guess it was over by an apartment complex, and people probably just were moving away. I just happened to have been riding my bike and rode past it and seen it was out for the garbage and went back with the vehicle and picked it up uh the tires were flat and stuff um just a single speed so i had that 700c sitting around i thought i'd just try it out to see if i could have clearance on that and make that work you see i reversed the brake to make it happen it works great uh like i said this thing flies it's really fast I just don't ride it much. Um, it's stiff, of course, too. But, yeah, I think I'm about to take the back wheel for now, and I'll just hang it back up for now. Um, but I thought I'd make a little quick video. My progress on my, uh, my real gravel bike. This would be my only gravel bike. I, you can kind of... You can kind of count my electric bicycle in as a gravel bike, sort of. It's just that you just the handlebars aren't, you know what I mean? And it's a it's a 650B basically. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess it's not counted in. It has to be 700C, right? Has to be 700C to be a gravel bike. Can it be 650B? I don't know. Can it be a 26 inch? Uh, and like super modified kind of thing? Does it have to have drop bars? I don't know. 
but it sure does look cool, don't it? With the drop bars. <laughs> anyway, just a cheap build. Both bikes, cheap bikes. Uh, thought I'd make a little quick um, rambling about it. We will uh, be right back, and I'll see how the single speed works before I go before I go modifying before I go heavy modifying <laughs> yeah alright guys see ya